Hey everyone, Ben Ninja here. Uh, Going to be talking about a bit of a news segment, I suppose. Going to call it "Things to Think About Thursday." Games and sounds. Uh, I don't really like it. Um, this week, really, we're going to be looking at uh, at Moonwalk Sonic. I should probably introduce this one a little bit better, though. Uh, essentially, all it's going to be is uh, a section where I'm just going to talk about and show off some some musical stuff that really tends not to be not to be used at all. Um, so I mean, we'll, we'll jump straight into this Moonwalk Sonic. Uh, hopefully, everyone sort of gets the idea. And the whole the whole point is it's been around for forever, but how many people actually use it in a combo consistently? Um, I mean, I'm hoping to sort of move that move that amount up. Uh, so we'll jump into it. So yeah, I'm sure everybody's seen through the the UPSB wiki. For example, um, they really just look like this. So we're doing a sonic motion um, in the normal direction, uh, but the pen is sort of moving down in slots where it would usually move up. Here's just a few examples. Um, best thing about it is that it links into hybrids very well. And another thing is that you can just sort of start in one of these complex finger finger notations and then continue a hybrid. Uh, it also works for around. Obviously, it's the same thing had you started it from Sonic 2, 3 to 1, 2. This one, exactly the same. Everyone loves starting this one from, from 3, 4, but let's do the Moonwalk Sonic instead. All right. Some more examples, simple stuff. Just showing that you can really change the direction. You're still holding the pen. You can change the direction just fine. Uh... Here is definitely just my favorite way to get into that one. Uh, so if we have a look, it's moving from a palm down to palm up. Uh, I'm not sure. I really just like it. It feels like a sonic reverse. Uh, in this case, I'm just showing off some transparent sonics. Uh, I did something on this a little while ago. Um, and obviously, why don't we do that in, in some slow, lower slots as well? Uh, moving on from here, let's see, just showing it can be interrupted. So if you pop your thumb in there, we, we've just interrupt, interrupted it, gotten it out of where it was before. Alright, um, yeah, why why should we stop it at one thing and slot? We'll, we'll move down to. Um, and in, in this one, obviously, if people tend to pick this up because... Well, well, people tend to pick this up because it looks easy, and it is easy, but it's it's hard to master and actually get use out of. And the first time I used it was exactly like this, just inverse sonic, moonwalk sonic, inverse sonic, moonwalk sonic. I mean, that's really what I wanted to do here, just, just get out the idea that, look, I know it's hard to get into a combo, but start here. Here's a bunch of examples. Let's think about it use it, get used to it, because it's it's a great trick. Um, going to be trying some more broad examples for the next uh, few weeks, definitely. I mean, this one's very specific with Moonwalk Sonic. Maybe the next one we'll be talking about how I'm going to be, be shifting my hand from you know, side palm to, to palm down. Might even mention some sort of 45 degree angle in there, uh, but I have my I have my worries on that one. But that that'll leave it there for the for the moment. That's that's week one. Uh, hopefully you don't hate my voice by now. <laughs>